performance of this government since coming into office has been and continues to be disgraceful. It consists of a litany of broken promises and betrayal of the trust of the electorate and how they've conducted their campaign with false promises that they have since betrayed. And also the promise not to uh, continue with the failed policies of Fianna Fáil. Unfortunately, this government continues on that path. The government has no mandate to punish or pauperise ordinary working class people and the less well off, nor have they the mandate to continue the failed policies of Fianna Fáil. The onslaught on unfortunate people dependent on state support and those organisations who deliver the support services to those people, which incidentally saves the taxpayer millions and millions each year, is not on this, the radar of this government. The government's actions continue or confirm that Fine Gael and Labour have an agenda, have an agenda against the less well-off. Whichever party is responsible for it, both parties are complicit by the fact that they continue to penalise people with disabilities, they continue to penalise students, they continue to penalise uh, fa families, uh, as, as they have continued to do up until now. Along with other sectors of the community, and I'm talking about farmers in particular, they were negatively impacted by the budget. Among the areas where the axe fell were the disadvantaged area schemes, the sheep grassland payments, the soccer cow welfare system, along with the cost to farm assist. All of those areas are the less well off in the farming sector. All of those have been penalised in, in this budget by this government. I particularly want to read something into the record here, and in particular to the three ministers, Mr Baraka, Minister Dowd and Minister Howland. I think every TD in this House got this email today. Every TD. My name is X. I'm a lone parent, a full-time minder of my two young daughters, Sarah, 12 years old, Amy, 15 years old. I am a former civil servant, retired early on health grounds and on a very small pension. Amy suffers from chronic complex congenial heart disease, is attending Crumlin for hematology services, dermatology services and specific dental services. Amy also has developed Amarodin induced by hypertextosis, I, I can't pronounce it properly, which at the moment means fortnightly checks by an endocrinology team. I wouldn't know where to begin to try to describe to you what a day in the life of this household is like. Amy has had five open heart surgeries and 32 other surgical interventions. Countless trips up and down to Crumlin. She has had two tours of duty in Southampton General Hospital, lasting two months each where they saved her life on several occasions. The HSV responded with €1,000 grant to cover our costs, which ran in excess of 15000 We have even spent Christmas Day in Crumlin, a memorial affair, thanks to the staff of St. Bridges Ward. I won't get started on the HSE. They recently lost four completed application forms for Amy's medical card, which was due for renewal in February this year. Amy's medical card was issued in May this year and is only valid until February 2013, whereby the whole game starts all over again. The absence of bad language in the last three lines is nothing short of miraculous. So what is Santa bringing me and Amy and Sarah this year? A reduction in child allowance, annual respite care grant reduced from 1700 to 1375, car tax increases, a reduction in the household benefit package, local property tax, Prescription charges tripled. The threshold of the drug payment scheme increased. All this is happening on your watch. You are responsible for Amy and Amy's well-being and her life. You are directly responsible. Your government is directly responsible. And you that support them. Sorry, you are guilty Deputy. of what happened there. Deputy that is what happened to a young Deputy girl Ferris, 12 years old. Through the chair, please. Through the chair. Sorry. That is what happened to a child 12 years old. And that is what's been carried out in the name of this country, proper, done by your government. That child is only barely surviving. Her father, as lone parent, is trying to ensure that she does survive. 
And what happens? She's getting no support services. They offer a meanly thousand euro when it costs 15,000 to send that child across to Southampton to send that child to try and save her life. Look, five open heart surgeries, 32 other surgical interventions, countless trips up and down this country. That's why I, this party, these people out there have no confidence in this government. That's why the Irish people are disgusted with you. Thank Look you, what Deputy. you have done. Thank you, Absolutely Deputy. disgusted because you're supporting the wrongs that's been carried out here by this government. Thank you, Deputy.